Arnold Janssen, our founder, father and leader, was born on November 5, 1837 in Gog, a small city in Lower Rhineland in Germany. The second of ten children, his parents instilled in him a deep devotion to religion. He was ordained a priest on August 15, 1861 for the Diocese of Münster and was assigned to teach natural sciences and mathematics in a secondary school in Bakold. Due to his profound devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, he was named a Diocesan Director for the Apostleship of Prayer. Little by little, he became more aware of the spiritual needs of people beyond limits of his own diocese, developing a deep concern for the universal mission of the Church. He decided to dedicate his life to awaking in the German Church its missionary responsibility. With this in mind, in 1873, he resigned from his teaching post and soon after founded the Little Messenger of the Sacred Heart. This was during the height of European colonialism. Unlike many other countries, Germany was not sending missionaries to its colonies overseas and in fact, under the leadership of Bismarck II, the Chancellor of the German government, there was serious restrictions on the growth of the church. Churches and religious institutions were burned and destroyed. Priests and religious would arrest. At this juncture, Arnold thinks of starting a congregation. In this chaotic situation, Arnold Janssen proposed that some of the priests could go to the foreign missions or at least help in the preparation of missionaries. With the support of a number of bishops, Arnold inaugurated the mission house on September 8, 1875 in style Holland and thus began the Divine Word Missionaries. From the beginning, the new congregation developed as a community of both priests and brothers. The volunteers at the mission house included women as well as men. From practically the very beginning, a group of women, including Blessed Maria Helena Stolenwok, served the community. But their wish was to serve the mission as religious sisters. The faithful, selfless service they freely offered and a recognition of the important role women could play in missionary outreach urged Arnold to found the mission congregation of the servants of the Holy Spirit SSPS on December 8, 1889. In 1896, Father Arnold selected some of the sisters to form a cloistered branch to be known as Servants of the Holy Spirit or Perpetual Adoration, SSPS AP. Their service to mission would be to maintain an uninterrupted adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, praying day and night for the Church and especially for the other two active missionary congregations. Arnold Jansen saw himself as an instrument in the hands of God. He said, This vineyard, beloved conferers, is our society with all the fields of ministry 
entrusted to it. The hand of the Lord planted and cared for this vineyard. Sunlight, rain and drought were given to it by the Lord. I cannot credit myself with anything in it except my poor collaboration and even that was not my own merit. It was not me but the Lord who awoke the vocations and enabled the individuals to remain faithful to their resolution. And if it had not been for the Lord, who would have sent the necessary financial support and that amidst needs that grew greater from day to day? Truly, it must be the firm conviction of each one of us. The foundation, preservation and for the development of our society as no other author than he who dwells in heaven and directs and guides all things on earth. Arnold died on January 15, 1909. His life was filled with a constant search for God's will, a great confidence in divine providence and hard work. Arnold Jansen was beatified on October 19, 1975 by Pope Paul VI and he was canonized by Pope John Paul II on October 5, 2003. That his work has been blessed is evident in the subsequent growth of the communities he founded. More than 6,000 divine word missionaries are active in 73 countries. More than 3,800 missionary servants of the Holy Spirit and more than 400 servants of the Holy Spirit of perpetual adoration. Being in heaven, St. Arnold is praying for each one of us. We submit all the SVD missionaries SSPS and SSPS AP sisters in the God's hand to St. Arnold's.